Welcome back. This is part two of creating a bookkeeping spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel. I'm just going to enter some opening balances on the template just to keep things simple. I'll put everything down as 500 uh, minus 500 for liabilities and plus 500 for assets. In the total box, if you put equal sum, open a bracket, highlight the amounts we've just entered, close the bracket and click enter. then you'll get the sum in that total box there. So to add up those five 500s and give you a total. We're now going to put in an equation to calculate closing balances. So click equals, sum, open the bracket, highlight all those that are the bank current account boxes, close the bracket and we'll want to minus any expenses to this bank account so click minus, go over to the bank account down the bottom there, highlight that, it'll go dash like, click enter and it'll give you your closing balance so when we enter income and expenditure the closing balance will be updated automatically. We'll now do the same for petty cash equals sum open a bracket shift 9 it is highlight any bank account uh, petty cash account transactions including the open balance minus the expenditure total click enter now for the other three we're going to do things slightly differently um, equals sum open the bracket highlight the transactions close bracket enter now the reason we're doing that differently is because there's no expenditure um, to take off for the closing balance. Now we'll do the same for the loan and the capital account. Equal sum, highlight all the boxes under NatWest loan account, click enter, and the same for the capital account. If this is going too fast for you, then please just pause the video or go back. We're now going to do a total as we did before on the opening balances, so equals sum, open bracket, highlight all the closing balances, close the bracket and click enter. We're now going to do equations for the expenditure, so equals sum, open bracket, highlight all those under bank current account, close the bracket, click enter. and we'll do the same for petty cash, if you just drag it across it will duplicate the equation I lost my border there, I'll just put the border back in there we go now we're going to do the same for the expenditure codes so equal sum, open bracket highlight them all, close bracket, enter and we can do the same here and we can just duplicate them across, we don't have to keep doing them individually there we go, go right across and they will add up the totals for the expenditure codes so your spreadsheet should look something like this now